safety and sometimes um, if you want certain other symbols like a box or a box symbol or a diamond symbol you have to include a package on the top and that package is called as use package um, that package is called as okay latex latex sim okay latex sim now when once this package is involved okay once this package is written you have options to uh, go about with new symbols for instance like uh, uh, box uh, cap box with the capital B and then you have another symbol like diamond okay diamond and all and run this run okay I wrote it wrong okay you have these symbols available and sometimes if you want other symbols like uh, just backslash just backslash if you want to write the, just the backslash symbol okay that's hard to write in LaTeX and uh, you, you, ha you have a you have a quick fix for that and that is given by the symbol backslash okay with this notation you have the backslash symbol available for you okay simple enough and then uh, if you want to write if you want to write the symbols that you use in the cards like the set of cards you have for gambling or just uh, for entertainment like the suits set of cards you use in the suit for instance like uh, okay those symbols are possible for instance if you want to write the club 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 card just type club suit okay if you want to write the diamond symbol over there that you use there over there just type uh, uh, diamond diamond suit if you want to write the heart symbol over there you just type heart suit and then if you want to type the spade suit spade symbol just type spade suit like that and if you compile this and there you have it the four symbols of your suit available okay and also you have options for uh, integration integration as well and that will be very important so I'll let you guys I'll tell you guys immediately uh, Im Im immediately so what 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 you can do is that uh, to write to write the integration symbol let's say uh, you have to use this function int backslash int and if you do that you have the integration symbol so if I want to write integ integral uh, suffix uh, a and uh, uh, suffix a uh, under uh, exponent a b sorry b underscore a okay of yeah of uh, let's say like this just see how the integration turns out to be f of b a f, f of a b okay now that's how the integration that's how you, that, you, that way you can write your integration symbol and you have uh, differentiation symbol as well. I mean differentiation symbol is just uh, simple you just have to use the, your normal uh, normal symbol uh, just like that and you'll be fine with it okay and uh, what else you have a lot of log like symbols of log like symbols available okay uh, for in, uh, for instance for instance uh, if you were to write uh, if I, were, if I were to write uh, some, not log like symbols like uh, uh, other tri trigonometric functions or some special symbols it is possible for instance like you just type lg backslash lg and if you run this up okay you just get log okay and if you want to write gcd okay backslash gcd you'll have gcd like you might ask me what is this now uh, why is this necessary sometimes if you may, you may want to write uh, certain functions that do a gcd of this gcd of a comma b something like, like that and all it's possible and uh, that's that way and it, sub, and one more thing suppose if you want to write a function like uh, if you want to write a condition like uh, limit if you want if you want to write a limit okay and uh, <coughs> if you want to write a limit symbol uh, one might think that okay let me just use limit uh, underscore and within brackets uh, n 
and we need tens to right we need tens to so for the tens to we need the right, uh, left arrow left arrow and then infinity for infinity i is type i i and f t y infinite infinity uh, left tends to infinity if i run this i get a symbol oh it's left arrow right so i have to write right arrow okay but anyway you what you see is that it's it's not under i mean if you look at it it's not proper like it comes under the suffix fine but it's it's kind of slipped towards the right but that looks a little funny yeah, i want it under the under limit okay now how can that be possible it's like it's possible with uh, okay it's possible with uh, an option of uh, with an option like this okay let me write this in a new way just like backslash backslash brackets and then you uh, close this with the another backslash bracket and within this what you write is that uh, okay this is another symbol for dollar okay what i do is that uh, sorry i'll tell you about this in a minute just type backslash limit limit okay and then put an underscore and then uh, write the same comma same thing over here same thing over here and check this out um okay now that's a little um okay now that's a little embarrassing uh, i thought this should i thought this should work um okay let me see how let me see this work there's another option over here which i just took uh, learned some time some few days ago and if i work this out oh good oh good i don't know about this okay so this works as well um okay why it work i have no idea suppose if i were to put the dollar sign over here and the dollar sign over here um funny and i suppose if i write two dollar signs over here and two dollar signs over here and run this um how about that how about that uh I, for limit i guess uh this works only with uh, double dollar sign and uh, i guess there is another way to do it but i am not uh, sure as to how i'll just uh, let you know i'll just let you know and i'll just let you know in some time um hold on a second i'll just let you know um hi guys just welcome back i had a small query with this stuff i just so i just logging through my documents and stuff and my notes to get this clarified and finally i got it okay what you have to do is that if you want to write uh, like what we notice is that um, if you were to write this notation properly it, uh, i mean with a double dollar sign uh, it worked out fine so if i were to compile this this turn out be fine but on the other hand when for this command over here when i try to do the same and try to do the same it does not work okay now there's an option to it uh, there's a, there's a simple way to figure this out what you have to do is that just take the take this limit off and just type limit okay and then what you do give a space and then type limits okay when you type limits and let's run this up um uh okay i think you yeah, just have to put an underscore okay hopefully this should work yeah perfect yeah perfect now this way you are in a position to put the limits nicely within the single dollar signs similarly if you want to do same thing uh in double dollar signs uh i guess this should work okay this should work yeah perfect you don't see any har you, you hardly see any difference over here and it works out fine okay now let's go about with uh, integration a little bit detail okay we saw integration over here okay and we saw int uh, underscore a underscore b underscore uh, in power a underscore b uh, gives your integration like this now uh, there's another way if i were to ex write this it in display uh, math mode okay 
okay sorry display not does not display display my phone display style display style okay and if I run this yeah now the integral looks fine okay now the integral looks fine now what what can be done is that now uh, along with this thing uh, let me just remove this power sign over here and then type limits and then I give uh, and then I give the power sign over here uh, power B underscore A now watch now we see this integral turned out a little better now the limits are nicely adjusted with the B on the top and A on the right and now, now this integral looks a little much better to look at okay now uh, a little more adjustment instead of integral now what I do is that if I just put an O over here it's O integral right it looks like O int you have a circular integral simple as that okay uh, other than that uh, you can proceed with uh, other options like this and your display style will be very helpful for a few more things for instance let me uh, let me write this up in a, in a separate way separate thing okay uh, display style okay now within brackets I write um, backslash limit and then I write limits okay underscore uh, x uh, to, to, to write right arrow you also have this option like 2 tends to infinity like that and then I type uh, and then instead of that I type 0 okay now let's see how this looks like limit extends to 0 perfect okay now I write uh, fraction fraction and here I write sine of x okay sine sine x of x okay now if I look at this it turns out to be fine now if I do if I write this without display style this will not be proper now I write what I can do is that uh, this is the display style now I write equals 1 now if I run this yeah perfect now it's fine now what I do is that if I just copy all this and paste it over here I'll just remove the display style alone uh, I just remove the display style alone in this entire thing and when I run this up and run this up okay you see this for uh, this integral looks a little funny I mean sorry this limit looks a little funny the fraction does not come out nicely okay that's about this part and uh, you have a few more options over here which I'll tell right now okay instead of writing dollar symbol all the time you have another option to do it now what you do is that if you just type backslash and uh, 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 circular braces and then you type uh, backslash and then circular braces like this then you all this is also an equivalent to the display style that you found using dollar sign now if you now you can just write uh, the same as above and if I were to copy the same thing and paste it over here paste okay paste it over here you get the same notation not a problem but on the other hand if let's say if I want uh, the display style to I mean if you want a display style like this but in an alternate manner let's say okay what you have to do is that use backslash and then use square brackets square brackets and at the end you can also use backslash to close the square bracket and then run this up there you have it you get the same uh, display mathematics mode available instead of the inline mathematics mode so this is just an alternate convention that is available that you guys can have a look at okay so whichever you think you guys can find it easy and advantageous use that one uh, use that one to your choice okay and uh, let me just let me think if I left any uh, anything else uh, yeah finally just uh, one more option let's say if you want to write vectors okay write vectors and that is possible what you have to do is that you just write dollars and then you type vec and then you type your vector name and that's it okay and then if, if you write, write like this and that is your vector suppose if I have like a vector a okay who have which has three coordinates uh, something like uh, a uh, slash vector vec of i uh, plus b of vec uh, j 
okay i just write a suffix one uh, a suffix one uh, a suffix two okay plus a suffix three a suffix three vec uh, k okay now if i run this there you have it you have a nice vector notation available so if you want to proceed with this you can just proceed along along with that uh, i mean i mean you can just proceed with like this method and go on with it well with that i guess we are con we'll conclude uh, with that we'll conclude the uh, this special symbols notations and uh, in available in latex available in latex they are like a uh, ton of ton of tutorial ton of ton of symbols available in latex that you guys can have a look at i guess this will be more than sufficient for many of you guys to write your reports mathematical documents and so on and uh, after that uh, uh, all after this the the number of symbols you might have to learn is just a little bit you can just check it out in wiki or check it out in the google just find a google search uh, look for it in some forums you'll find it you'll find it easily well that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time